Welcome back to the second intermission report. We're coming to you live from the War Memorial Arena as the Syracuse Crunch pulled a 5-3 lead on the Rochester Americans. I'm Mike Kelly and I'm joined by Dylan Bluges, who scored the go-ahead goal in that second period and there wasn't much room there. Beautiful goal. No, I, you know, I think I had a little luck on my side. It was a good play by uh, Joel dropping the puck to me and I saw space going to the net and you know my first instinct was to pass it to Angie Stick but you know I had so much space that Thought I'd give it a chance, go to the back end, you know, I think the puck had eyes and it, it got in the back of the net. Second pro goal, you're considered a rookie, but certainly we're in the second half of the season now and a grizzled veteran out there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we've all had plenty of games played, so you know, you get those uh, rookie goosebumps out and you know, you start playing like you've been in the league for longer than you have, but you know, everyone's, I'm pretty comfortable and so are the rest of the rookies, so it's going well. What's been the biggest reason that you've had such a smooth transition? Oh, I mean, it's got to be the team. I mean, we've been playing great, obviously, and obviously playing a lot of games really helps you, too. So, you know what, um, it's been a pretty uh, easy transition, but tough at the same time. And the team's winning as well. That always makes it fun. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when you're winning, it's, it's always fun playing hockey. Absolutely. The defense really chipping in tonight. Three of the five goals from the blue line. Yeah, I mean, doesn't happen often, but, you know, we'll take it as much as we can. Congrats again, Dylan. Thank you. Welcome, that's defenseman Dylan Bluges of the Syracuse Crunch. Crunch leading 5-3 after two periods of play. Back with more after this here on ESPN Radio Syracuse.